Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. A lot to unravel today, a lot to kind of digest today. Uh, first, if you could be so kind and do me the honor of taking one second, liking the, the channel, subscribe, share, all that good stuff that really uh, would help us out. Other than that, let's see what we could we could we could figure this out. Okay, number one, um, we started with the CPI this morning, right out the gate. Uh, stocks just started surging. Not really uh, a big surprise, uh, considering how hot the market has been. I, I've always kind of maintained, you know, at least for my own personal experience, you usually would have economic data um, most of the time, most of the time, um, correspond or correlate with the overall market sentiment. And today, stocks just went absolutely nuts. Uh, Pre-market, everything was gapping up very aggressively, uh, way above the previous day's ranges. Uh, and now the next question was, well, what was the Fed going to say? Uh, I, I think in a weird way, the, the Fed was almost like the afterthought of what actually happened today. Um, basically, the same jargon. Uh, initially, from what I understand, uh, Powell talked about, we're not really ready, or well, not really considering maybe cutting rates. We, you know, we would think about cutting rates three times this year. Now we're considering maybe doing it once this year, but we know it. We're not really even considering maybe the one. So kind of all over the place. The moral of the story is market didn't care. Uh, NASDAQ at one point uh, was up like 300 points, like 2% was going nuts. Uh, and then, you know, he started making more comments and there was a big, big reversal uh, to the downside only to spike up because again, that's what bull markets do. They take any bad news or... Uh, bad perceived news or bad perceived price action, they scoop it up and rip it again. Uh, just when you think uh, names like NVIDIA, we talked about last night, I was like, yo, listen, last night I go, listen, I think the next move is going to be uh, below the 10-day move. It. Yeah, not not so much. Uh, NVIDIA continue to go nuts. We saw 128, 130 calls going crazy. Um, you know, names, for example, uh, names, for example, like a meta continue its grind, uh, Microsoft continue its grind, but let's not talk about Microsoft. Let's not talk about Meta. Let's talk about Apple. So this is when you know this market is completely euphoric. Yesterday, a day after they had their WWDC event, which they basically really didn't say anything crazy. The stock sold off about six points. Yesterday, it ran up like it was a bat out of hell, 11 points. And the one thing that I always talk about, and, and guys, always remember this, anytime a cult stock, whether it's an Apple, a Tesla, Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, right? The, the biggie, the biggie, biggie of the, of the heavyweights in the technology, anytime they put in a cartoonish-like candle the previous day and... The next day, there's profit taking in the morning. That's a gift from God. That's that's literally a gift from the market gods. Uh, because what happens is when the stock goes red pre-market, all these novice shorts start to pile on because you know the stock can't possibly go up two days in a row after that type of romp. And this morning, the stock was down a dollar and change. I tweeted out around seven thirty in the morning, and I go, "Oh, what time does Apple go green?" And the answer to that question was 8.30. That was during the CPI. It went green. And not only did it went green, it went absolutely bananas. I I, I, no, I, tw I tweeted out, I go, somebody should should you know should test them for enha you know, enhancing performance drugs. What the hell is going on with Apple? You know, here we are talking about open the video turns into a Tesla. And here we are talking about Apple turning into, well, Apple. I mean, so an unbelievable move. 
You have euphoria all over the place, literally all over the place. Um, you know, to go through every single stock is kind of counterproductive. If you're an active trader in the market, you kind of know what's what. Everything is going nuts. Even the stocks that are, uh, you know, kind of relaxed today, like the Amazons of the world, they, you know, they had such big runs. Don't they deserve, uh, you know, deserve to have a, you know, a, a rest day here and there? Tesla actually had a, a good showing today. Uh, really good showing yesterday. It one day after losing the 50-day, it reclaimed back. We talked about this yesterday in the, in, in the webinar. There's always a shot that they were going to run it up ahead of uh, the vote. The vote is, I, I believe, sometime tomorrow on Elon's compensation package. I'm watching this thing tomorrow on both sides. You have this uh, top of the channel here, uh, top of the channel here on the 100 EMA that looks interesting. Obviously, they lose back the 50-day moving average. Uh, I will be stalking that uh, as well. But the big story of the day, and, and I hate to say it, I really hate to say it, it, it had me believing, it really did, it had me believing was GameStop, right? So GameStop in the last couple of days definitely had a personality switch. So that seven, that a 75 million share offering, everybody knows that, they raised a bunch of cash. Everybody knows that. And what that did was really clean out their balance sheet and start hoarding cash. And then you started seeing massive call buying come in. Massive. I'm talking about massive call buying come in, right? You started seeing guys, let, let me look at these bets. This isn't Reddit traders. This isn't people on Webull. <laughs> you know, this, this is Robin Hood. These dudes were coming, right? That's what she said. Look at the guys, look at these bets. The 1.1 million for the July July 50s, 784,000 for the July 50s. You know, small well, small bet 94,000 for the weekly 40s. Another 879,000 for the 50s. I was a believer, man. I was a believer. And we had a nice pivot in this thing. We'll get to the pivots in a second. And then slowly but surely, slowly but surely all of a sudden, there was mysterious blocks of 5,000 a clip hitting the June 20 expiration. Not pointing any fingers. Meow. Right? But all of a sudden, the options market, we talked about this all the time, the options market always dictates, for the most part, I can't say always, but most of the time, will dictate the underlying security. And this thing went literally from 34, we'll get to the pivots in a second, 34 all the way down to 25. <sighs> Could be a problem, right? But it had me going, man. It really had me going. I, I, I saw the option flow. I saw the way every dip was being bought. And I was like, guys, if this thing closes at the highs, gotta be long. Yeah, I probably, my, my account wasn't hacked. That was actually me saying it. it. wasn't the AI version. That was actually me saying it in the webinar. And lo and behold, you know, massive, massive sell-off. You have $9, $9 sell-off uh, in the middle of the day uh, into the close. Now it is, uh, now it is, you know, back down to a little, lo little lower into the close. But now you got to start watching the bottom of the channel here for the last couple of days here, you got to start watching it because if this dude is, you know, selling his, his calls, you know, I don't know, right? I mean, who else is put, you know, who else is out there has 5,000, uh, 5,000 lots to, to, to hit, but okay. You know, I don't know. Right. But we got to watch the bottom channel here for the next couple of days. If they can't get this thing back above the five day moving average, there's going to be a problem. And, and the crazy part about it is the ironic part about it is they're actually moving in the right direction. Again, I don't know what their plan is for hoarding all this cash, whatever the case may be. Maybe you guys know, uh, for all you guys who are uh, GameStop investors or traders, comment below. T tell me, what what do you think is happening right now, right? Uh, obviously, a huge, huge reversal today. Big call buying. Is this a trap? Right? Is this a trap for 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 short sellers to to come back, come back? The water is fine, or is this just the after? You know, is this just the aftermath? Now that they actually fill it, figured you know out their balance sheet issues and all that stuff, and kind of have uh, you know the bull in their court. You know what happens next? So if you have any clue, any opinion, I would love to hear for uh, I would love to hear uh, from you. You know, click out of the comments, uh, share your thoughts. 
One stock that didn't rally today was NEO, right? So NEO came in long, uh, finally started covering, I covered about 20% of my position uh, in the 430s uh, pre market. Uh, stock is red inside day. I still think this thing uh, goes uh, lower. But boy, oh boy, what an absolute crazy market. It, it almost euphoric like uh, after the close, you had Broadcom, Avago uh, come out with earnings, come out, not only came out with earnings, uh, they came out with uh, one, excuse me, a 10 for one uh, split. The stock is up, oh, just a tad of 200 points uh, after the close. So again, euphoria all over the place. Apple going nuts. Tesla, we have a big, uh, you know, we have a big um, vote on Kenya, uh, Kenyans. Elon's package. That's what she said. Um, you know, you could tell I'm tired. Uh, but anyway, a lot to digest. Tomorrow, you know, we got a lot of stuff on the agenda. Let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow that, you know, nothing to do with really beta. Just some charts that I found. They're pretty good. Uh, look at Zillow. Beautiful move today on Zillow. It's a supply. All Zillow needs to do is get above supply for the next uh, day up. Uh, look at COHR. I have no idea what COHR is, but look at this chart, right? Gorgeous chart. Gorgeous chart. Look at this chart on MODG, right? Another beautiful chart here. All it needs to do is reclaim uh, the 50-day moving average to move higher. And keep an eye on PLTR. Uh, it stopped today right at the linear regression line, at the daily linear regression line, got rejected there. If they start reclaiming back the linear regression line, uh, this thing uh, could wake up. Before we get to today's pivots, guys, just an announcement. Tomorrow is my normal day off. Uh, having also said that, I am going to be this weekend in Fort Lauderdale for an AAU basketball tournament. So unfortunately, there will be no weekend video. Just a guy to give you guys a uh, heads up on that. But other than that, hopefully everybody is doing well. I'll be back on Monday. Excuse me, I'll be back uh, on Sunday night for Monday's session. So quickly, let's go over uh, today's uh, pivots, right? Let's go over today's pivots. The ones that went really, really went. Here was Apple. Um, you know, so I wanted initially the bounce off that 203.70s, 203.80s. Never got that. But once it got back above 207.16, which was yesterday's channel, guys, this thing went to 220. Crazy. Look, look at the chart. Look, look at this move. Just insane. I, I've never seen Apple trade like this in a two-day uh, interval ever. So absolutely insane. Four, gapped above 74 pre-market, went to 75, came back in. Uh, Carvana, 111 needs to build. Uh, you know, went to 115 after... Uh, after the Fed, uh, I traded up a couple of points and then came back in and traded up to 115 after uh, after that. GameStop, it was actually a nice pivot in GameStop. Uh, 3092 and 3180 needs to confirm for more upside. It actually went to almost 34. It was a nice trade there. It really did. I'm telling you, I was a believer, man. I know nobody believes me. I was a believer. For one day, I was a believer. There was actually more to this thing. And then yada, 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 here we are. Um, so that's that there. And uh, let me see what else. ASTS didn't do anything. Snapchat went up about 30, 40 cents. Nothing really there. Uh, I believe that is it. Yeah, I mean, look at this, right? How can you not be a believer when you saw just in one interval? Guys, just to think about this. In, in, in the 10 minutes, right? In the 10 minutes, in the 10 minutes, the stock went, look at, look at all these bets, right? You had nearly $3 million worth of bets there. So crazy action, crazy market. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, you know, again, let's see what we got for tomorrow. It looks like we have another very busy day. Guys, everybody, God bless. Hope everybody's doing well. I will see you guys on the field tomorrow. Take care.